All right, this is going to be a real street photographer's what's in my bag. Real meaning I plan on going out and actually shooting. Maybe in like 30 minutes, I wanna just Jay-Z one take this and get the hell out and just shoot. All right, so I won't be needing this. Boring thing. Uh, all right, let me go ahead and show you the camera I'm shooting on. It is the Olympus OM-1. So right now I'm shooting film. I'm kind of flirting with that medium. I don't plan on showing any of the photos because I just want to have a pretty good workflow before I start showing the photos. I want to process and scan all my own images. So it's gonna take about maybe six months, maybe at the end of the year to kind of implement film into these videos. And I'm shooting Tri-X 400, three rolls maybe. And then actually I've been bringing a notepad along just to write down all my notes. When I kind of venture into something new, I'm pretty meticulous. Writing notes and learning. I'm all about the phrase, you have to know the rules to break them. So I need to kind of know what the hell I'm doing. All right. Now, as for the bag, bam. So the bag in itself, I've had this bag for a while before I was a photographer. Actually, some hipster dude was like, oh wow, that's a cool bag. Did you buy it like that or you just wore it out? And I was like, bro, it looks like someone took a shit on it and ran over it with the truck. Like, no, I didn't buy it like this. So this is it, uh, fairly simple. Again, it's not even a photographer's bag. I just need it functional. I don't put my camera stuff in it because my camera is always in my hand shooting or around my neck. So here it is. First thing I'm going to talk about is in my opinion, the most important thing and I've never seen it in anybody's videos. A street photographer, a photographer, anything. And I'm just like, okay, this is weird. And it is this. Yes, food, I eat. This is the most important thing. My wife is a veterinarian, so it says pet plan here. When I watch people's videos, I'm like, okay, am I the only person who A, is hungry, or B, is poor? Like, I need to bring my own food, and I eat a lot. Again, some of you are going to really love this video or really hate this video, because these are the actual things I have in my bag and that I actually need to shoot. I won't go through everything, but pretty much I have leftovers, I have crackers, orange, banana, and this. This is pretty much the ultimate thing. It is a peanut butter and banana sandwich with a little bit of sea salt and honey. This gives me energy for hours. So I plan on shooting for maybe eight hours today, just literally walking around for eight hours. Typically what I do is I walk around for like three hours or so, sit for like 10, 15 minutes and eat, and go do it again for another three hours, sit 10, 15 minutes, eat, shoot for another couple hours, and then come home. So I need energy. And this is a side note for Americans that don't know this here in London. When you take a train, because I lived in Los Angeles and in New York, um, you pay one fare and you can go as far as you want for just paying once or one fare. Here in the UK or London, it makes sense, but it kind of sucks. You pay more the further along you go. And it's just like, what the hell? Even though I'm 25 minutes away from central London, because I'm in a different zone further out, I actually have to pay more. And then there's like rush hour fees and it's ridiculous. So if I go out and shoot, just, to shoot, not buy lunch, not buy anything, just the fare alone, it can almost be $15 US just once to go out and to come back to my house. And if I wanna do that five days a week, it's like, fuck, like it gets expensive. So I bring my lunch. 
All right, so that's that. And this is also very important. Cue in Peter McKinnon slow-mo. Right here. I bring my own coffee. Again, because I'm poor, I just paid $15 to just go in and out just to take some photos. So I bring my own coffee. Boom. Also, just in case, I bring an iPad if I want to go to Starbucks and steal their free internet and drink their free water. I have this just in case I want to, you know, just look at some porn. Uh, that's really all I take to go take photos is my camera and some food and that's pretty much it all right so thank you guys oh also again you guys are gonna really love this video or really hate it because i talk about the silliest dumb things what shoes i bring because these are the dumb little details i i kind of wonder about i'm like oh what shoes are they bringing to walk for eight hours and today I'm wearing my very comfortable Adidas Stan Smiths, but not just any Stan Smiths. They're actually made by Raf Simmons. You know, I like, I like a little style, you know? And I think there's some kind of stigma for photographers or artists who like style or fashion. Like, bro, it, we're artists. We kind of express ourselves in clothes, fashion, the way we talk, the way we, you know, just whatever. It's just part of the art. It's just part of our minds, so. Anyways, so that's it. So, I'm about to go and shoot. Oh yeah, be cool, be nice, hit like. Cue in Peter McKinnon, slow motion. Oh, shit. <laughs> Almost burnt my face off. <laughs>